LG, like, we make a lot of like day-to-day -day TVs. They're loved by people all across the world. But there's so much more we can do, you know, and the M series takes that amazing G4, G3 panel and takes it to the next level. So this TV is currently suspended, it's floating. It doesn't come with this big white arch, <laughs> right? But it does come with a wall bracket. And if you can imagine it mounted on the wall, um, you now have a TV that you can take the input box or the inputs on the back of the TV and put this somewhere else in the room. So the box is where all the inputs are. So maybe your Foxtel, your, um, your sound system, your, um, Just your game aerial. console, your aerial. Your aerial? <laughs> an aerial. Still have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and you can put that somewhere else in the room and then have a clean mounted TV and if you're really interested you could suspend it on an arch like this for some wow factor. Now this is the real incredible feature. So the M series is like about a two, two and a half thousand dollar premium on top of the G size for size. Two thousand. Two thousand? Only two thousand Australian. Australian? Two thousand Australian. Australian. Nice, okay. So a 77 G is 7999 and a, and 77M would be 9999. Cool. And that, that extra two grand is for the flexibility that this box gives you. Now this box is communicating to the TV all the signal. So while the inputs are here, it also has a transmitter. And this box has a, a little wheel on the top, which is one of the coolest demos I get to do. And uh, you can see that the light is changing on the top here. And if I bring it up on the screen, Yep, you can see the Zero Connect signal. And as we turn the wheel back towards the screen, I've gone to green and to blue. So it's telling me I've got a great signal there. And then, you know, obviously if I have got maybe a couple of um, items in the way, or maybe someone walks past with some, you know, food, I can Rest assured that even when the antennas are not pointing at the TV, as long as I'm in that sort of 10 meter proximity of the screen, I can always get a great picture. And just to give you an idea about how amazing this technology is, is LG spent about five years looking at what was out there. And we said, we can do a connect box, but let's do it wirelessly. Let's take it to the next level. And then HDMI 2.1 came out and we're like, okay, so we've got to take it to the real, real next level because to send uh, 4K at 120 hertz for gamers, you need to be able to send the amount of data that's on this USB to the TV every second, every second. And that's six um, gigabytes of data per second sent to the screen. Amazing. So if you're a serious gamer on a console, you won't lose out buying a wireless TV. You actually get the best picture and the best connectivity story. So the M series is very special and it kind of kicked off LG's you know lifestyle range that I've got to show you. Is there anything? And, and it was if you saw CES, you saw um, LG's transparent OLED wireless with a rollable back panel TV. This is the same wireless technology that enabled um, the TV to have no processor. Just, so just to be clear, all the brains of the TV are in this box. Um, this TV does have to have power, it's just running down one of those cables at the back, but the $2,000 premium you pay is so that you can not have all of the boxes and things right under the TV. You can put them away in a cabinet over here and hide it, and it just becomes a design piece, either on the wall or it does come with a, with a big stand as well. So um, this is the M3, just so you're clear. Um, the M4 that's coming is coming June. We can't get our hands on one yet, but basically it'll look like this and it'll have that G4 um, improved panel in the M4. So the G3, last year's model, but no way is it a bad model. It's just become outdated because the G4 has arrived. So the G4 is, is actually a larger screen here, which makes this demo even harder, but I know that the Alpha 11, the brand new processor that we've called 11 because it's to correspond with 11 years of the number one OLED brand, of course, uh, the Alpha 11 processor is actually showing off the full potential of the panel. So I'll put on um, this video here and uh, this is just some animation. Now I know that you guys have never seen a dinosaur in real life, but it looks even more real <laughs> on the G4. 
So you can see, same image, same mode, G3, G4. The Alpha 11 processor is looking for detail and enhancing and sharpening the image. And uh, you know, I don't think it's too hard to see the difference there. Everything has more sharpness and crisp. See? Is that upscaling you're talking about there, or? Yeah, hundred percent, John. Yep. So the TV. Oh, I'll pause on something other than underwater in the dark. Yeah. Okay. So same scene. The TVs pretty much have the same brightness levels as well. It's just the TV is able to use the panel or the processor, whatever, use the panel better by looking at the scene. So here we can break the image into 5,000 zones. Here we can now do 8 million zones, 8 million pixels. And so we can figure out foreground, sharpness, and we can do it tastefully without making the image look over-processed and fake. So you get this crisp, detailed image that just goes to show how much a processor can really improve a picture. You said 5,000 zones, but I mean these 8 million zones. Ah, 5,000 processing <coughs> zones. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and this one, the G4, it's processing at a pixel level. So every single pixel, that 8 million pixels, is being processed rather than the 5,000 zoning cells. Yeah. How, how, how's it handling things like a game console, like a controller? How, how can you use your remotes and your controllers without if it's 10 metres away in a cupboard? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do see a problem with that. So yeah. obviously you hardwire your game console to the box. And then, as long as you're within Bluetooth range, which is these days, it's got to be in the same room. Um, you shouldn't have any problem with the controller. Um, Xbox controllers, I think, three to four millisecond response, so shouldn't be any loss. Interesting challenge, though. We might hook up the Xbox to it yeah. later on. Yeah, <coughs> Thomas, you said six. Yeah. It's basically 48 gigabit, um, gigabits per second, right? Yeah. Which is the HDMI 2.1 standard. Yep. yep. That's exactly right. <coughs> so it, it's received by the antenna inside here. And just you know, to give you an idea, 5G is like the holy grail of phone connection. That's running at 20 gigahertz. This is running at 60 gigahertz. It works better when I aim it at the screen. 60 gigahertz, so it's a very clean, empty frequency up there, which is for a nice channel up there. So if you buy this, you don't have to worry about in the future, you know, your neighbor's 7G phone, <laughs> it's gonna interrupt your TV.